Bradburn. Welcome back, everybody. Taking a quick look at our current conditions. We get 43 degrees right now in San Angelo. Wind still a bit breezy coming in from the west at about 14 miles an hour. Around the rest of the region here, temperatures are sitting in the 30s and 40s. Looking at the states, that's kind of the same thing, but we are kind of getting cooler in the Panhandle and to the west there in Amarillo and El Paso. Even Wichita Falls sitting in the 20s. We got 30s and 40s, and then starting to get into the 50s and 60s along the coastline into the southern part of the state. Not not as many winter storm warnings and advisories for especially in the Midwest area around Colorado getting to Nebraska and Kansas. Most all of Missouri is covered in an advisory at this time and folks just to the southeast continue to see plenty of rain showers. So they've been getting quite a bit in that area too. I mean they're looking at almost three inches of rainfall in the last three days and because those temperatures are warmer that is actual rain right there whereas here in Kansas and Oklahoma even around Illinois and Missouri. That may seem like a little obnoxious amount of rainfall, but that's actually snow accumulation, so that's going to change a little bit differently. Breaking out our day planner for today, we are going to have 38 degrees as we get into 8 o'clock this morning. Slowly increasing, we're actually going to be a little bit cooler. It's actually average for today, 4 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock, we're going to be hitting 58 degrees. Winds will be shifting starting from the northwest this morning, eventually coming in from the northeast, about 10 to 15 miles per hour for most of the day. Now, highs are expected to be mostly in the mid to upper uh, 50s into the low 60s. Now, tonight, we are going to be dropping a bit, 36 degrees for a low with increase in cloud cover. Tomorrow's going to be a bit more on the cloudy side, 60 degrees expected for a high. Wind shifting coming from the southeast, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Now, as we head into later tonight, we'll have a little bit lower level clouds coming in. And then we have these upper level clouds that are going to continue to help keep us on the cloudy side for the rest of the week after today. And then we're going to clear out as we head into the weekend, and then temperatures will be warmer getting into next week, Monday and Tuesday.